Good morning! I told you I'd be back with occasional GPD Win 3 videos, and here I am. This will be something I do on a lighter upload week. We are also covering more than just the Win 3. I recently got into Genshin Impact after the Aloy announcement the other day, so I figured we would test it on not only the Win 3, but the Win Max as well. And FYI, I am referring to the 2020 Win Max model and not the upcoming 2021 upgrade. Now let us get started. For reference, I am playing Genshin from the Epic Game Launcher. All testing I did was done in the open world map to account for all of those extra pieces, environments, and objects. To begin, we're going to look at the 2020 GPD Win Max. For a refresher, this unit has an i5 processor. For my testing here, I had the TDP up on the high option. The original WinMax can run Genshin smoothly, but not at higher graphic options. High settings normally averages around 25 to 27 FPS even when you're not in combat. To get it smooth, we have to bring it down to medium. This will net us a frame rate that stays around 30 to 40 for the most part. Thankfully, these conditions are stable enough that it won't drop under 30 FPS even when you're fighting enemies. But if you want Silk, drop it down to lowest settings. Not low, as that will still keep you limited to the 40 FPS range, but lowest will give you 58 to 60 frames in and out of combat. It still looks pretty good on the WinMax screen, so owners of that 2020 model will still get some smooth and fun Genshin action on a handheld. Now we take a look at the Win 3. We've got significantly better results if you're aiming for gorgeous visuals and 60 frames. I set the TDP on my Win 3 to the high option, so we got better performance. If you crank Genshin up to high settings, you can get a varied frame rate, but it'll pop between 40 and 60 without end. This is pretty good, but if you want more consistency, bring the resolution down to 1.0 and most of the visual and effect settings down to medium and it'll spike up to 60, only jumping down to the 50s during combat. It may not be perfect, but we can get better visuals out of the Win 3 than the Win Max. That's all I have for Genshin Impact, but before I go, many of you have been asking me about the Steam Deck, Valve's official PC handheld that they are launching in 2022. I won't say much for now, but I'm definitely looking forward to it next year, already having reserved my opportunity to pre-order. As far as the unit itself, I think it has a neat design, and SteamOS has a really slick UI to it. I'm definitely glad we're getting an official PC handheld, though I will likely still be partial to GamePad Digital. There's nothing wrong with the Steam Deck, it looks great, but I really love the design of the Win Max with it being a laptop I can comfortably use for pretty much everything that I do on a computer as well as being a handheld PC. Though if we didn't already have confirmation that GamePad Digital was going to give us a 2021 upgrade of the Win Max, I might feel a little different. But that's all for now. As always, thank you for watching and have a great day.